Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really, really do appreciate it. I am so happy you guys are here because I'm going to be doing a fall boots video. I feel like these are the boots, you know, you may need for fall, but these are my favorite boots and I've been eyeing them for such a long time and I just, I really had trouble finding the right boot and the right style and I feel like I kind of got it down to my four favorite boots. Three of them I purchased this year and one is from last year. I feel like I'm really, really happy with my purchases and I'm going to be keeping them. So I'm very excited for that. And I'm going to be wearing them a lot this winter and obviously fall. So let's just get started with the video and here it goes. Okay, so the first boot I am really, really excited about. Okay, I'm very, very excited about is my cowboy boots. I've been looking for a pair for such a long time. I think I've been looking since last year and I haven't really found any that like I liked or like there was just something always wrong with them and I found this pair just last week and I'm like I need to buy them so I bought them from I think it's called hold on Ariat A-R-I-A-T I may be saying it wrong I don't know correct me if I'm wrong but I got it in a size 41 okay I know I'm a size 10 okay I know <laughs> I have really big feet but I definitely sized up like I didn't really read the reviews or anything I just really liked them online I, I went on Amazon as well and I didn't really like any because I just didn't like the pattern I didn't like the way it looked and these ones when I saw them I really really loved them like I looked at the pictures so as you can see there's like this really nice beautiful pattern that's like uh, embroidered onto the boot and it just looks so nice here you can see it's like a really nice pattern and it's leather of course and it has a little bit of a heel which I don't mind I mean who doesn't want to look taller and I really love the length of these because I wanted a height that wasn't like ankle boots and I didn't want like the knee-high ones anyways because I already have black knee-high boots I wanted something that was kind of in the middle that's like true like a cowboy boots kind of vibe and I wanted this to be kind of wide that's what I tr had trouble with with all my other boots and I feel like this one is perfect they fit so nicely like I'm telling you they fit perfectly they're so comfortable I did not think like these would be so so comfortable I already worn them out uh, once and I think I was out for like six seven hours and they were so so comfortable they don't have a zipper you just have to kind of put your foot in and it slides in perfectly so for these i would size up i feel like if i got a 40 in these i would have a hard time because they are kind of narrow like as you can see like i already have wide feet to begin with so these were kind of narrow and i'm looking at the shoe and i'm like okay well it's cowboy boots i probably want to size up especially if you're wearing socks uh, especially me because i wear thick socks i feel like i wanted a size up anyways so these were perfect i'm really glad i size up because they fit me perfectly i feel like i just have to break the shoe a little bit i feel like i have to wear it a couple more times to be like a little stretched out because they're not stretched out yet and i'm telling you i love 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 these shoes so if you're in canada i'm not sure if you can get this in the us i am not sure but I'm going to try to link them down below with the name and which one I got and what size I got. So I got in the size 41. If you're looking for your favorite cowboy boots, please try these out. I really, really love them. I'm sure there's others that are online, but these are the ones that I really liked. And yeah, I'm going to go on to my next boot now. I really wanted the Chelsea boots and I was debating if I should get the Bottega ones or if I should just find dupes for Bottega ones and you know call it a day so i went back and forth because i really wanted to get the prada ones the combat boots that everyone has or i wanted to get the bottega chelsea boots I, for my big purchase it was either between that or that so i did decide to buy the prada ones you know showing you next so i decided to get the chelsea dupe for bottegas and i found these ones and i think out of all the chelsea dupes for bottega i feel like this one was the closest one because I did try on the Bottega Chelsea ones. I mean, I really, really, really do love them. But I feel like there's just so many Chelsea boots out there that look exactly like the Bottega ones. And I'm like, I don't even know if it was like worth it to spend that much money on the Bottegas versus just buying a dupe. So I ended up just getting the dupe. And I'm really, really happy with these. The one problem I did have with the Bottega ones when I was trying them on is that they were really, really hard to put on. So like... I don't know if, I don't know if you noticed but even with these ones they don't have a zipper so you just have to wiggle your foot in that's basically the only way to put the shoes on and that's the problem I had with the Bottega ones and that's a problem that I have with these ones but they look really really nice on <laughs> they look almost exactly like the Bottega ones like the height the 
front of the shoe, the style of the shoe. I, I feel like if you put them side by side, of course you can tell by the leather which one is obviously the higher end. But I mean, if you look at it from far away, I don't, like it's gonna be very hard to tell between these and those ones. They're obviously not real leather, as you can see. I really like the style of these. I feel like these are really nice and they're really, really in obviously for fall. So I, I got this in a size 11. Usually with Steve Madden, I'm a 10, but rather have a shoe that's a little bit looser than a little tight so it's uncomfortable and never wear them. That's like the one thing I've learned over time and I've made so many mistakes of getting shoes that are like my size 10 and then I never end up wearing them. So I just decided to get all my shoes, only boots though, not like heels or sandals, just boots. And I feel like for the price, I think it's definitely better than the Bottega price. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna go into my next boot now. Like So the next boot I really, really liked is white boots. I got these from Zara last year. I'm not sure if they still have them. I'm gonna try to find similar ones. So if you want a white boot, or this is not really white, it's kind of like off-white, it's cream. They are knee-high boots. I really, really like them. They're really wide here and they taper down and it has a zipper so it's really nice you know to kind of it's kind of easy to get it in and out with and it has a little bit of heel here and they just look really beautiful on like if you're wearing tights or anything like that i feel like you definitely need one pair of boots that's off-white in your wardrobe i'm gonna try to find a couple of white boots or not white boots from zara and i'm trying to link them down below for you guys i highly do recommend getting at least one pair of cream boots for fall and winter in your wardrobe if you don't already have one. I'm gonna go on to my next one. Okay, so the next item we're gonna talk about are combat boots. I feel like combat boots are very, very in. It's very trendy at the moment. At first, I didn't really like them because I feel like they were too clunky, but then I had to really try them on and I tried them on and they actually look really nice. I feel like it balances out your body, especially in winter because you're wearing such like heavy coats and like, you know, jackets. I feel like it's a nice way to balance off your whole look. I wanted something that was, you know, kind of like ankle boots and they were somewhat comfortable. And I've been eyeing these for such a long time. I feel like I've been eyeing them since last year. <laughs> and I, I finally gave up this year and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna buy them because they always tend to sell out and they sell out so fast and it's so hard for you to find like your size. And they finally had my size, I just went in. I didn't even think I was gonna buy these. I just went in and I asked, you know, do you have my size? And they did and I'm like, oh, great. Now I have to buy them. <laughs> So I'm really glad I did because I had combat boots from last year from Zara and I feel like I've worn them so many times and I was looking for a pair for combat boots and usually for boots I don't really splurge that much money because I feel like they get really dirty in winter and everything else with snow here. I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like I've never really splurged that much money on boots. I will splurge money on like really nice sandals or anything else but you know I just gave in because I really, really did like these. And obviously there's so many other boots that you can buy that are combat boots and they look really, really trendy. There's, I think feel like Zara has really nice ones. I'll link a bunch that I've seen that are really, really nice and really good price. Obviously if you don't want to buy these, but combat boots are definitely uh, a must buy for this fall. I was gonna do a video like in a month or two months. I haven't really worn these, so I'm kind of hesitant to give you my honest opinion. I got them in a size 41. Usually I am 41 in Prada, so they were true to size. And I feel like these are the biggest they make. 41 is the biggest they make in these boots. I'm not really sure. When I asked her, she said 41 was the biggest size. So yeah, and I really, really like them. They're neon here, they're leather in the front. Very, very nice. When I try them on, they are really comfortable. Like I have a little bit of room in the front and even when i wear socks i feel like they're still comfortable especially when i loosen up the laces i feel like it's a really good fit so yeah that's all the boots that i recommend for fall 2021 i really hope you enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and the like button and i'll see you guys next time bye